Hey everyone and welcome back. So the thing that we're going to talk about today is first one is Ethereum. So Ethereum supply is going to be reduced almost by 80% within a few months. What does that mean? That the less supply of Ethereum will eventually result into the higher price of Ethereum. And also we're going to talk about the uh, WikiLeaks. So it turns out that the Coinbase, one of the top exchange in USA, has blocked the account for WikiLeaks. Now this is something which was also done by Visa and MasterCard a couple of years back, right? And we are also going to talk about some of the cooperative banks in India. It turns out that these cooperative banks actually does not fall under RBI. So I was doing some kind of uh, research and found some interesting facts which we're going to talk about. So let's start with the coin market cap and again uh, everything covered here is just my personal opinion none of them should be taken as a financial or investment advice so definitely the market looks pretty strong today yesterday we were talking on the live and the price was about 8500 this morning when i get up the price is 8800 the bitcoin and of course uh, the btc dominance interestingly has turned down to 38 percent that what it actually means is basically the alts are also picking up in the meantime so let's move on to the news so the interesting news right now is that ethereum is going to be inflated by almost 80 percent uh in ethereum's inflation to be in reduced by 80 percent within a few months now this is as per the upgrade of ethereum's which is now moving on to casper upgrade so just to let you know ethereum when it was launched back in 2015 they had four stages for the updates so of course the, the very first uh, update was home frontier which they launched in frontier update so this is nothing but uh, a different update just like you have an android update just like you have windows update you have ethereum update as well and this was something all which was already planned right from right when ethereum started so the four stage that ethereum four updates rather that ethereum had was first was frontier second was homestead in 2016 and then you had metropolis last year which was again highly spoken about and the last one is serenity so it turns out that serenity is going to take place uh, and the first one is called casper which falls under serenity right so as per this the transaction so this casper and as a result of casper also the ethereum will move from proof of work to proof of stake so what exactly it means here is that the reward for the proof of work, which used to be about three Ethereum earlier, the block reward for proof of work miners will be reduced to 0.6 Ethereum from the current three Ethereum. So right now the proof of work, the miners are getting rewarded about three Ethereum, which is eventually dropping down to 0.6 Ethereum, which is almost more than 80% of drop right in the reward system so what it actually means and of course the reward system will also be given to the proof of stakeholders as well so of course here is a calculation of how this everything is going to be done I'm not going to go through all of that but in 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 short the ethereum supply is going to be reduced and you can simply see the the impact of this from 3 ethereum to 0.6 ethereum so what it means is when there's a less supply of ethereum the existing ethereum the price will go up right so that means i think it's a very good sign uh, for anyone who is holding ethereum to keep holding because ethereum is the next decentralized computer if you check on their website you will find all the information what ethereum is and I'm, I'm still very excited about ethereum there are so many dApp, so many platforms out there but there's nothing like ethereum so nothing like ethereum I and mean, there are like ethereum but we haven't seen the use cases as yet so right now ethereum is the next powerful decentralized computer in my opinion and it's always exciting to see these kind of upgrades right and you have a very good leader vitalik as well so definitely that something to uh something to know about right uh, the four upgrades the last upgrade coming into serenity and the proof of work rewards going from 3 to 0 0.6 which results into more price of ethereum because eventually the supply of ethereum is going to be less right so then let me know definitely what do you think about uh, this do you think this will have impact on the price of ethereum in your opinion this is something that i want to talk about so wikileaks now this is something that i read from andreas antonopoulos today he tweeted this morning that we have come full circle many people's interest in bitcoin started when wikileaks was out under an extra judicial 
embargo by Visa, MC, PayPal and banks. Now Coinbase has repeated the history. Coinbase has repeated the history. So what exactly happened just to give you a background of Wikileaks. So Wikileaks is an international non-profit organization that publishes secret information of whom? Of, of, uh, of governments, right? So it says a classified media provided by anonymous sources. Its website initiated in 2006, 2006 right? So basically it gives all the uh, information, uh, insights of the governments and uh, institutions, right? And which obviously most of the governments do not like their their private information going out. And in fact, so the WikiLeaks was cut down from all the resources. So, uh, like I said, WikiLeaks is basically a non-profit organization. The only way they exist is by donation from the people. And if you suddenly cut down the Visa and Master, if you ask Visa and Master not to support WikiLeaks, how else people are going to support this organization? So. Of course, people did not have any option. And then at that time, Bitcoin existed, right? In 2011, I guess, uh, let me correct me if I'm wrong. It was in 2011 or 12 when, when the whole issue of WikiLeaks came out. Uh, the government's not being happy with WikiLeaks publishing their private information. And they simply asked uh, the, the Visa and Master to cut down their services so that nobody can ever donate. And that's when, in fact, WikiLeaks and went ahead and say that, well, you can give me in Bitcoin if you want. And those Bitcoins, those times were a couple of hundred dollars, not very expensive. Of course, this, that is now, now about $8,000, it went into $17,000. In fact, there was a tweet uh, in the month of December from Julian Assange saying, uh, thanking the US government for blocking his bank account so that he could receive the donation in the form of Bitcoin, which has resulted in, in the in more money than what he what he would have received the donations in in the form of dollars right but now what has happened is so coinbase again has done the same history so now you cannot donate anything to wikileaks nobody can actually through coinbase so so they tweeted this morning said announced coinbase has blocked the official wikileaks shop from its platform without notice and without explanation you can continue to donate if you want Bitcoin to WikiLeaks at WikiLeaks.org. So probably over here they direct have they have direct a Bitcoin address where people if you want they can direct yeah this is a Bitcoin address probably so where people can donate directly instead of going through the Coinbase. So like that's the beauty of the Bitcoin right? You don't need the permission from the from the banking system and the regulators now. Anyone who wants to make a donation, they can directly donate that on the Bitcoin address. They don't, and they can buy it from anywhere, right? Uh, that's the beauty of Bitcoin. So nobody can really stop the financial sources of anyone. Uh, now coming back to the last news. So this was, this is quite hilarious. So what happened is, so the recent one, right? Uh, the Save Droid, which actually published which did a publicity stamp which is in terms of okay over and out thank you so much for giving all your money and then coming back to people and saying that we are very much still here now they want some some of one of the person has actually gone ahead and complained about the the whole uh, ico and it looks like there is going to be some kind of uh, 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 some kind of inquiry as to what kind of ICO was it, what did you raise the funds for, what exactly are you trying to do. So it looks like they have created more problem for themselves by creating this uh, this 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 horrible public stunt, I would say. Now the last one is uh, Mount Gox CEO Mark Carpels has landed a new job. So basically he is the CEO of the Mount Gox, one of the exchanges which got hacked. So now he's joining a new firm, which is called uh, London Trust Media. And London Trust Media is basically a private virtual network provider company. At the same time, they also have investments into companies like Purse.io and, uh, and many more. So for example, they have, yeah, over here. So they have investment into Purse.io, Zcash, Block, Block Explorer. So it turns out that he's jumping from his last company of Mount Gox, of course, there has been a lot of controversy. He had to go through a lot of things because this is what happens when uh, something got hacked, right? There are there are bad players uh, who are ready to like spoil things. So, of course, this was not a great incident, Mount Gox. But finally, uh, everybody is happy that he's landing up. He's starting a new career. He's starting a new job. 
Now, this is something that we spoke about yesterday on the live. So, Coinex has gone ahead and uh, taken up, uh, tied up with the Sham Rao which turns out to be a cooperative bank. And then what I did is I did some research of what exactly cooperative banks are. And to my surprise, what I found is that over here, and it says regulating cooperative bank banking, the packs are outside the purview of the Banking Regulation Act 1949, and hence it is not regulated by the Reserve Bank of India. So that's what it says. Um, so this says the cooperative banks are not regulated by Reserve Bank of India. But again, now I'm not really sure. Is it that all the cooperative banks are not regulated by India, or by Reserve Bank of India? Are there only few which are not regulated by Bank, uh, Reserve Bank of India? And is there a certain limit? Because the way I look at it, if they are really not regulated, and then probably all the exchanges will try to do the same thing what Coinex has done, basically getting a, a cooperative bank on board and banking with them. So, uh, of course, there is a lot of uh, how how a cooperative bank is, is formed. Cooperative banking is a retail and commercial banking organized by cooperative basis. Cooperative banking institution take deposits and lend money in most part of the world. So, exactly. So, it's quite interesting. Definitely uh, exciting that uh, are the exchanges are going to be tied, tying up with the cooperative bank. And also, are all the cooperative banks not regulated by RBI? If that's the case, I, I don't see... Uh, uh, any impact in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies here in India even after bank stock cryptocurrency exchanges so let me know your opinion what do you think about that let me know your opinion about the ethereum what do you think do you think because of a less supply of ethereum which is by 80% do you think the price will go higher ethereum will become more expensive and what do you think about the cooperative banks impact do you think exchanges will tie with the cooperative bank leave your opinion in the comment box below guys thank you so much for watching i didn't show you this so i wanted to show you this as well i forgot so wikileaks right so this is something that i tweeted just in case uh just to let you know so this was right so this is what i tweeted that which is very interesting to be honest so he says uh, the picture says i hi i'm julian assange uh i gave private information on corporations and government to you uh, for free and the media calls and the media calls me for criminal so i gave free information to you on government and and cooperation and the media calls me a criminal and the, the next picture is hi i am mark Zuckerberg, and i gave your private information to the corporations and governments and the media called me the man of the year and this has got like 17 retweets already so as you can see clearly people uh clearly understand the problem here you know thank you so much guys for watching uh, i hope to see you in the next video give this video a like share subscribe if you're new and take care